All right, I'll go. But I'll be fashioning anything. Hello, stylers. Welcome back to the Full Style Inc. channel for another video. My name is Nadia, and I am the creator and founder of Full Style Inc. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. I hope you guys are enjoying all the beautiful things that are coming to you from all of the areas, all of the angles, especially the things that are happening right here on Full Style this holiday season. So, I'm going to jump right into it. I want to talk about this lovely, gorgeous piece of garment that I've created. I just wanted to come in and say hi, give a brief introduction, introduce this blazer. For the OG stylers that was around 2017, they remember that I thrifted a oversized man's blazer on me um and i reconstructed it i did an upcycle creating a blazer dress now there were many things that i did not know about one main man's tailoring and things i was still learning about upcycling and how to proper alter uh, a piece of clothing however I was willing to dive back into this blazer because I haven't really been wearing it and I definitely haven't been wearing it as a blazer dress. As you can see from the before footage, it's a bit short. And even when I made it, I still was wearing cute little shorts underneath it. However, I wanted to take it, give it new life, bust it back out, add some of those holiday trend style effects that I was talking about in my last video and add it and have it the perfect cute little party dress for the holiday season. I'm so excited. I'm I'm really I'm really amazed at how it turned out. Without further ado, let's get on into the tutorial. Bye. All right, stylers, jumping right in. I am retrying on the blazer, seeing how it fits, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, what needs to be changed. I noticed right away the sleeves are entirely too tight. And of course, it is too short, as well as I want to let out the sides so that I can get a little bit more room and have a slightly boxy shape. It's a little too tight around the hips and waist. Now this is the second little duster that I'm going to be taking apart. Um, the sleeves are too tight. It doesn't really close up so it looks like it's too small on me. And I'm just going to be using it for its length and material. Yes, so that's perfect. 
first. And then I said I wanted to come in and open up one of these seams. I mean both. And both open up these seams so that I can add panels in so I can give a little bit more of a flare skirt look on it to the ruffle. So jumping right in, we're going to seam rip the sleeves. We're going to seam rip, open the sleeves. We're going to seam rip the sleeves away from the blazer. We're going to seam rip on the front side of the blazer that will become our side seam. I realized that I had seamed rip the side and then like right in front where the pocket is. That was too much, so I just went back and did the side seam you'll see me here I did I did two seam rips right here but I go back and close one of those up with underneath the pocket and just keep the side seam okay, so I am pinning the blazer together just to see how much space um is needed to open it open it up at where i like the blazer to lay so i've of course tried it on marked where i want the buttons to go and then laid that flat so i know how much room i needed to add to the side so i just cut away at that after seam ripping apart that trench i went in and took one of those panels that i wasn't going to be needing these are the panels with the buttons and I knew I was going to be needing that because I didn't want a random buttonhole in my pleated skirt. And I'm going to use that to create the, the ventilation panel in our blazer dress. I went ahead and roughly marked out that shape. And I go in and I shore up the lines with my ruler and my chalk marker. And I take those two panels, I take that one piece, fold it in half, so that when I cut, I cut out two um, matching pieces. Of course, I go in, pinning those right side together right sides together i start at the very top and work my way down to the hem of the blazer dress i'm um, securing one side and then i go and unpin that and secure the other side i am here going back and making sure that they are both even on both sides for where they start and stop on that side seam so this is the final try on before i sew anything else i want to be um, as precise as possible I am elevating in my tailoring skills and I am just seeing how it looks on me seeing how it fits I do a sit a seat test to make sure that I do have enough room for that blazer to expand and move around for when the booty is in action and I go ahead and I sew those panels panels together again starting at the top working me working my way down to the hem of the blazer i have completely seen ripped the inside and the hem portion of the blazer so everything is going to be hidden away by the lining moving on to this trench um this is me just going in and seam ripping those panels and i'm going to take those panels and i'm going to try to get the shortest panels front on the front of the blazer and then have the longer panels behind so my I first idea my initial idea was to take two panels have two rows of pleats but that ideal true soon changes um, I am going to go through and create a freehand pleating um, try to make them as even as I possibly can but I don't want to be too precise I like uh, pleats on this level to look a little free and loose form so I have four initial sections of pleating I go through with my sewing machine creating a simple top stitch I go through on my steam setting in my iron and I press down those pleats I want a nice crisp pleats however 
I want them to have some type of um, definition and don't just get lost once I sew this to the blazer. Let's just take a moment, admire my little steam, put in work. You hear me? Look at it go. I burnt myself a few times on this too. <laughs> Baby, that steam is hot. You can see me here realizing, trying to figure out how I was going to close off the pleating and the hem within the lining of the blazer. So I have the first little short lining, the first little short pleat area down. I started from the ends, worked my way into the middle, and then I did the other side, worked my way, started at the end, and worked my way into the middle of the back of the blazer. And then I'm taking a third panel and laying that over the top, which will become the back of the panel section. And because the way the trench was cut, there were multiple lengths to my pleats, and I didn't cut anything until after I tried everything on. Again, trying everything on before I sew, I'm looking at seeing how far, how far in I need to bring the pleating so that it looks cohesive and it lines up and it closes off the front of the blazer as well as seeing that that second, that third layer of pleating was not necessary. It is just hiding too long and it's distracted. So I'm gonna get rid of it in one, two, three. All right. I decided for just the three pleat situation and I use all four and that third one I am going to cut away to make even and I'm loving how it looks. It doesn't look too short. So going in, attaching those layers of pleating to the bottom of the blazer and then I go in and I refold over the lining. I refold over the original hem of the blazer sealing all of those things in sewing it to the underside of the blazer i'm sorry i don't have a very good shot of what i am saying but everything gets encased and sealed in nicely into the original hem and lining of the blazer so that these pleats this pleated skirt area looks cohesive and like it, it fits nicely into this blazer And then I finished all that up by cutting, hemming the pleats for a nice uniform look and going back in and pressing all of my seams once again. So now onto the sleeves. Midway through I realized I didn't want to add any fun definition to the sleeves. I, I wanted to create a nice little detail and some of those um, added on embellishments I spoke about in my last video. So I'm going to seam rip open the sleeve about a little more than halfway up onto the shoulder. I am going to press down the seam allowance and then seam, do a top stitch that down so that everything looks nice and clean. And then I am going to go through with these beautiful little rhinestone chain bows that I made and I'm going to hand stitch those down using um, invisible thread. This was a level of love. Taking the bows took about a day and a half and then sewing them down took about like an hour and a half. But I absolutely love the devil, the level of detail. The last and last thing, last but not least thing is that I hand sewed, yes, again, hand sewed down a, um, a nice rhinestone sequence trim, lace trim around the hem of the blazer. This is lace trim that I had when I did that Beyonce inspired blazer back in 2019. I was able to create this cute little hem detail on the bottom of the blazer. And with that stylus, she is done. Say hi to Auntie's followers. Say hi. Say hi, stylus. It's making a wear appearance. I may or may not keep this clip in. 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying this video i hope you guys are enjoying the content i'm bringing to you this holiday season and know that i love you so bye say bye Bye-bye.